<laughs> Michael McNamara, is this thing about it being a hammer blow to rural Ireland a little bit of an exaggeration? I mean, how many people were really using their bank branches around rural Ireland? Well, obviously not many in the past um, 12 months, particularly uh, our Bank of Ireland branches, which were effectively shut down and then reopened with a, a very reduced service. But I mean, it's not just about personal banking, and we're discussing that a lot. It's also about business banking. If I could give an example of Clare, which I know best, uh, Kilkee and Milton Alway are both uh, busy market towns, heavily reliant on tourism. Tourism is largely, or when it reopens, it's largely a, a cash business. So what are businesses in Kilkee and in, in Milton Alway during the Willie Clancy week for for example, when most tourist businesses are in a very high proportion of their, their revenue during that particular week, where are they going to be able to get monies every morning? The are they going to post office perhaps? Well, step in? Yes, and a government representative earlier said that a deal had been done where the local post offices would step in and I'm sure the local post offices will provide personal banking services. I greatly welcome that. I've asked on Post yesterday to confirm that they will be able to provide business banking, take the lodgements, the large cash lodgements that they could expect in Kilkee and, uh, and uh, Milton Malbay and to be able to give out cash in the morning, small, like large amounts of small change. And I'm still waiting co for confirmation of that. For example, you know, the they government representative also said that all ATMs would be maintained. And yet when Clare FM contacted uh, Bank of Ireland, they said that they wouldn't um, give any commitment to maintaining ATMs in Milton Malbay, in, Kil in Kilkee and in uh, Tulla, where there is an ATM, but it's in a supermarket. Now, an ATM in a supermarket is one thing, but of course, it's not accessible at night time. Mm -hmm. um, and you can't, there's, a, there's a, 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 a withdrawal limit and you can't lodge money into and, those and Michael, ATMs. In a lot of rural Ireland, the bank branches tend to be some of the most imposing, impressive buildings, the heart of the town. Indeed, yeah. What's going to happen with a lot of those? Should the state be considering perhaps requisitioning those buildings if they're not going to be in use to use them as maybe internet centres for people who don't have access to broadband. Some, I mean, my colleague uh, Michael Fitzmaurice called for something like that tonight. I mean, if this was a, 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 an international uh, corporation that was leaving a town, it, inevitably uh, they would donate something to the community to try to, to make up for the loss. So, I mean, the very least that they could do is to donate these buildings, which by and large are landmark buildings uh, around the place. For example, you know, they're big imposing buildings in the middle of towns which have a dereliction problem already. I think it's important to point out that at least in Clare, um, Bank of Ireland are not closing any branches in towns where there is a competitor. So it's quite a cynical move. I mean, you, you know, it's basically they're they're not closing where there's a competitor because they lose customer. They undoubtedly lose huge amounts of customers to those competitors in those towns. So they're closing in towns which have relied upon them uh, for business. And as I say, it, it is hugely important because, you know, OK, there is a move away from cash, but certainly bars, restaurants and the tourism sector is a cash business. Is